Good afternoon. Uh, we now have clarity on a couple of points that were raised in the past week so in relation to the EOIs for skilled migrant and the EOIs for the uh, the upcoming parent um, resident visa return. As always, this is not immigration advice. It's our commentary on immigration here in New Zealand. If you're looking for legal advice on immigration, please get in contact with us at the through the description down below. You'll see our addresses and website. Okay, straight to it. Let's sort of get this video done quickly, get the information out to you. Uh, we have in the last few minutes received amendment circular 202259. Now, this covers um, the criteria for those who are applying for SMC, uh, for the EOI for skilled migrant category. The two big important things here are that those who haven't um, obtained an English test yet for your EOI, you can show that you have, I'll confirm that you have booked an English test rather than having it done. So when you're doing the application, that's what you're confirming, not that you have done a test, but that you have booked a test. Um, and if you are waiting for NZQA to assist your qualification, um, that is fine, you need to confirm that that is being done. So it hasn't been done yet, that's okay. You can still go ahead with the EOI despite not having that completed. Um, now, those who have submitted uh, previously for an application uh, for an EOI and their um, English test has expired, immigration have said that you can also go ahead despite that fact and go ahead as if the, the English requirements have been met and that the tests have not expired. So if you're already in the pool, your tests have expired, this is now covering you as well. That, now, that was the uh, the very quick change that has come through from this uh, change today. Um, what we, uh, and actually that also applies, I will just jump back to it now, also applies for non-principal applicants as well. So partners and children, well, partners, sorry, who need to meet that criteria or make that payment. Uh, expired tests can still be used uh, for those who are uh, already who are in, the, um, in the pool already with an EOI. Okay, other big one we have today is in relation to the parent category. Now, there was the email that went out to those of you who did have an application in place um, prior to a certain date, stating in that email that they will uh, invite you to resubmit your application. Now, the wording there, I think, was a little bit confusing that it did sound that they were going to email you and say, hey, now's the time, here's the process. That doesn't seem to be the way, at least it's not the way that we have seen it yet. We have spoken to Immigration New Zealand today around this to get some clarity. And what they're saying is that those of you who had an application prior, uh, in the poll on 7 October 2019, this is for, um, of course, the parent category, retirement visa category, um, you had something in the poll on 7 October 2019, um, you will... And if you submit a new um, expression of interest for that category on or after 12 October 2022, they will then take your new application, they will lodge it back on as to if it was done on the original date of your first application. So say you applied in 2018, that new application will be considered as having been applied in that date on 2018 when your original application was submitted for the EOI. So if it is you, if you were originally in the poll and you've withdrawn your application, you can resubmit and you should get back into that original part, uh, in the part, the placing queue that you originally had with the original application. Now to do that, you, you are submitting a paper application. It's INZ1374, so it's INZ1374 is a document that you have to um, fill out and submit to do um, to enter into that that drawer so get that done uh, as soon as you can. Now the question we have had is those who had uh, had an application in on uh, October 2019 withdrew and then reapplied prior to 12 October 2022. We are trying to get clarity as to how that's going to work, whether you are going to fit into this or whether you're going to have to. Uh, whether you can withdraw and resubmit or how that's going to work. Nothing even from immigration. We're not quite sure as to why they chose to do it in that sort of way and missing out that middle section. We will find out. Uh, but that is all we actually have today. Just a couple of quick uh, clarifications. As always, please share this video if it, uh, if it does help you out. Uh, if you're looking for more assistance with your immigration needs, please get in contact with us uh, through our website or our email address in the description down below. Um, other than that, we'll come back with you if we have anything more on these visas uh, as we rapidly approach the, the draws restarting. Until next time, kia kaha and stay safe.